Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my July book haul. Yes. I'm going to start off with the gifts. My friend Linda got me Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them on DVD. And I love my DVDs. Okay, I don't own any Blu-rays. I'm not about getting into the Blu-rays right now. So too, I can't afford a Blu-ray player right now. But yeah, so I have it and I'm so excited to watch it over and over and over. And yes, I'm so excited about this. But if you want for watching Linda, thank you again. Then, um, Erica over at The Perks of Books sent me a copy of Meg, a finished copy of Meg by Steve Alton. It's the same one I got from the library, except this one has the whole book. Because um, if you're following me on Twitter, I told you guys on there that the book from the library was missing like a good chunk of the book because someone spilled coffee and ripped the pages out because they didn't probably want to get fined. Um, but ripping the pages out is even worse. Yeah, so she sent me a copy of it because she really wanted me to read it, and I really wanted to read it. So I'll be reading this in August for sure, and I'm so excited about it. And now I own a copy, so that's really cool. So thank you, Erica, for watching. This was so nice of you. You did not have to do this, but you wanted to, so that you. Yes. And then I went to, these are the books that I bought from the library book sale. I got The Lazarus Machine by Paul Crilly. This is like a steampunk YA fantasy type thing. This is the first book in the series. This was 50 cents at the library book sale because it was all 50% off. So I have the first book here, which looks really interesting. Kind of giving me like the Sherlock Holmes vibe going on and I'm excited about that. So we'll see if I really like it. And then I got myself a copy, a paperback copy of Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I owned the hardback. It was like the small hardback and I didn't like it because it didn't match the other books and it just didn't go right on my shelf and this one matches the rest of the books perfectly and it was only 50 cents and it's a really great book. I love this book so I got a copy of it. And I got myself a copy of Jurassic Park, the novelization, the junior novelization because I'm a child. Basically just the screenplay of the movie in book form. Smells old as heck. It's got pictures from the movie in it and I don't think I ever owned this because I wasn't into books when I was a kid. I know, shocker. But yeah, so this is, I'm gonna read this. I am. It's beat up, it's kind of falling apart, but I wanted it just for like display on my little like section where I display books and um, but yeah, I'm gonna read it. I'll probably read this after I read Meg. It's short, it's only like 88 pages long. Whatever, it's a fun read, why not? And then I'll read the real Jurassic Park sometime soon. And then I also got Apparitions by G.N. M. Tyrell, the classic study of extrasensory perception, ESP, in relation to ghostly appearances. The reason I got this, oh, it smells like old books, yes, um, is because I'm gonna use it for a prop in one of my short films that I'm gonna be filming soon and also it looks so cool it's old it's like from 1960 something but it's awesome and it says what are ghostly apparitions and this just looks so cool it looks like a movie prop like a vintage book in a movie yeah so i'm excited to have this and also too i can keep it for display because i'm weird i'm weird and uh, yeah so that's what i got from the library book sale Two books were 50 cents, the other two were a quarter. Then um, in my Owl Crate Junior box, I got The Unicorn in the Barn by Jacqueline K. Ogburn, right here. Seems like a really cute book. Have no idea if I'm gonna read it, probably not. It just doesn't seem like something that's up my alley. Seems a little too, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, it doesn't seem like something that I would probably like. My sister will probably like it even more. And then, in my Nocturnal Readers box, I got Bleed by Ed Kurtz and Come to Dust by Bracken McLeod, or McLeod, I don't know, but these are some horror books I have, and yeah, so that's basically it, that's all I got this month, yes, and it's very exciting, and I'm hot as hell, and I'm probably gonna go shove a fan in my face right now, because I'm dripping sweat, and I'm sorry if that grosses you guys out, but I mean... It's hot. So I cannot wait for the fall time. I cannot wait. 
So yeah, so I'll see you guys next time with another video. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.